Skype app for some reason. <clears throat> but holy right. shit, yeah, I was wondering. I thought I thought maybe you were gonna delay the techniques till you got back from your trip. No, no, like, dude. On the plane, I was like on the plane. Like, <laughs> Fuck yeah. Because I was like, I mean, I couldn't sleep on the plane, and, and I also like in the hotel rooms, and like the first part. Are, are you already recording? You yeah, good? I'm recording. All right. So like the first part is that normally when I used to travel, dude, my like social battery would drain really fast because yeah. I don't know. I'm like a very empathetic guy, so I'm always like uh, aware of my what my family and my friends are feeling but also when i'm yeah. traveling i'm in new environments and everything so it takes it takes a toll on my body and dude like i didn't feel that at all in in canada or in the middle east which was crazy to me you know because every time i travel i make a priority to have like some alone time to recharge and i didn't need that because i was doing the activations at night and i've been feeling like that change um what else so uh my dreams have become a lot more vivid that's that's one for sure um a, a lot of synchronicities a lot of flow in my life wow. and the biggest but the biggest one and the one that's got me the most thrilled is this like sense of motivation because i've already i already wanted to help others before but i've been constantly doing um the activations and Dude, that sense of motivation, it, it sparked like a new fire inside of me. I don't know if yeah, I can explain. Yeah, gives you, well, it gives you purpose, huh? And you have this like beautiful therapeutic ability to always be able to go inside yourself and yes. turn, turn that stuff on. It's like, for me anyway, it was like, this is what I was missing all along because at first you hear about meditation and there's like, just sit there and think and feel nothing. And I just, yeah. I didn't like that. I mean, it Same. makes sense to me electromagnetically because when you stop your thoughts and your feelings, it stops the flow in your toroidal field. Because remember, the thoughts yeah. uh, uh, resonate to frequencies on the scale of chakras and direct the flow of energy, so to feeling. So I can see where you like just neutralizing, it'll gradually begin to become coherent and spread out and you'll feel better. But when you go in and actually start consciously directing the flow where it needs to go to turn yeah. this entire fucking beautiful blueprint on it's just i love it man i did it i did it in jail one time in the oh really yeah i got it was a, my past came to haunt me in like 2018 yeah, yeah. it was a, a stupid warrant i had for like not following a court order um um from my dark night of the soul when i went through all this crap i like never resolved it yeah. so after my Kundalini awakening, I was all Mr. Spiritual and I just got rolled on the way to work. And I was just like, I put out the most positive energy. Me and the cop, we were like friends. I was like friends with everyone in there. It was the first time I was trying put out what you want back kind of energy. Yeah. And it was working, man, in jail. And uh, I just sat in the drunk tank. There was enough room to just sit there like this. And I just was inside myself, dude, just moving energy expanding everything and i felt great everyone around me is suffering <laughs> dude i now that now that you mentioned that like i've also had like um two like experiences of like you know like people like trying to do you wrong or whatever oh yeah and but I, since i've been doing i've been like i don't know how to describe the feeling but i've been like feeling really good and, and like you said putting out light i've been able to like I don't know, transmutate those into situations into something good, but very easily. And it almost feels like, you know, as as if I'm not even trying, because I feel like fully recharged. I, I can't I can't even explain it, but I I feel it in my everyday life. Right on. I mean, I haven't I haven't felt, and it's not what I was looking for, but I haven't felt much of like, for example, like the lucid dreaming and all that stuff. But my dreams have become a lot more vivid. But in my everyday walk of life, the change has been dramatic. Also, what else? Oh, dude, I, I don't know. So when I'm on the on the sun, I've also noticed that my skin, I, I, and I don't know if it's like I'm making this up, but like my skin like glows. Mm. It's weird. Yeah, and, I believe in it. It has to do with also, bio photons and it, you're pulling all the, these this charged particles and energy into your toroidal field. 
it's going to work into your physiology, I'm sure, and just raise your vibration and make you more vibrant, period. Like yes. you can, what do they call it? Physiognomy, when you can like see yeah. the evil in people. You know what I'm saying? Like you just yeah, the see physi- it. I know what you mean. I, I saw a guy on TikTok that he was like talking about how you can like tell um, <laughs> what someone is like by how they look like and everything. Yeah, it's in the facial, uh, the micro expressions. The even, microbiome and everything. I mean, yeah. if they're sick and holding a bunch of energy blockages too, they'll just get dimmer, like more pale. Sickly. Yes. It's. I'm not trying to be judgmental, but it's just the truth. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's, it's just um, how much light. And, but that's, that's and dude, awesome you're experiencing that. Yeah, and, and, and another side effect of that is that, and it's again, it's not like my intention to do that, but I've also noticed that I've become more magnetic to people. Oh, hell yeah. Like, like yep. I, I, I've had, dude, my flight attendant started hitting on me. <laughs> like, flights, like, for real. And then, and then uh, I, like, I was at the airport and, like, some random guys would stop me, like, hey, dude, you look so healthy. What do you do? And I'm like, and that's like that. I mean, it's happened to me before, but all these things that are happening to me, I, I can perfectly tell you that it's because of the the work that you taught me to do holy shit so it. yeah it's a subtle energy that you're putting off and people can perceive it they might not yeah. be able to see your fucking aura with their because it's out of the visible light spectrum but they feel yeah. it and they, yes, they feel totally. the resonance you're putting off and you're right you become super electromagnetic and people want to gravitate to you because you're like this remember you're like an antenna that's pulling and pushing out energy and charge and if it's at a higher a higher frequency, they sense that they want some of that. So you yeah, got to be careful exactly. too, because evil people will come at you. The whole world, the darkness is always pushing at you, and the spiritual yes. forces really. And that's what happened to me is I had the initial Kundalini rising after doing these techniques for a while, and then I thought it was like one and done. Like, oh, I'm just I'm Mister Bliss now forever. I'm, I'm Mister Alchemy forever now. And then the world slowly started beating me and winning down, like beat me into submission over time. Uh, Cause I just couldn't transmute everything that was coming at me, especially with like relationship stuff. So yeah. it, it eventually started to win over. And then my charge that I'd worked on, it actually started going dormant and getting blocked. So it was like okay. this brutal learning experience. It's like entropy, the third dimension where we're just being pushed on by all the, all sides, right? Left brain, right brain, lower chakra, upper chakra. It's just like, Ugh! and it makes you, you're, you're being taught to condense into the center basically to find God and, and, and release through the zero point of your heart field by going inward and imploding and turning it all on it. And then, yeah. It, yeah, you're right. It creates this huge shield that's electromagnetic. But the problem is, is it makes you more em- empathetic too. Totally. So it's, Dude. it's not like a shield, like, ha ha, you can't hurt me or affect no, me. No. It's more like you're aware of everything. <laughs> Dude, now, now, and now that you mentioned that, like, again, I've, I'm a very, like empathetic guy and like trying to help people and everything. And I know I've always felt like, um, I don't know, like if, if I've noticed that people are suffering, whether it's like in an individual point of view or like, um, I don't know, like a situation specifically, I felt it, but now I can feel it even more. And, and now that I went to the Middle East, um, I mean, Dubai is a cool city and everything, but a lot of it is supported and built on people that have limited resources. And yeah. dude, I can, I can feel that. And I, and when I saw those people on the street, I like really felt for them like a lot more than before, uh, but, but in a good way, you know, and yeah. what you're saying and what you're saying about um, like the dark forces and everything, like I, I, I can also like sense that, that uh, as, it, as just as I'm also becoming more magnetic, it's like the other darker forces are already also like I don't know, ready to go or something. But it's it's been it's been good. It's been good. And you know the diagram you sent me. I don't I don't know if you remember, but it was like the the picture of how it flows and how it's imploding. Yes. Like the first nights I was doing it, dude, it was like so it was hard to visualize like the whole thing, like thinking about it. So I would spend like five minutes just like thinking about the energy coming in through the top and through the bottom. And then it would take me another five minutes to like imagine it like imploding out and back in. And then also like through my arms. And then oh. it would take me another five minutes to like 
I focus it on my heart and then like another five minutes to like get to the chakras. And now I, it's I, I've been doing it so much. It's it's quick. Like I'll be uh, having coffee and I'll be like doing it. That's awesome, man. Yeah, not a lot. That's that's actually one of my main problems is that I don't do it enough in the in the subconscious waking state, as I call it. Remember, yeah. you conduct the flow consciously, subconscious or unconscious. Um, that's fucking cool, though. But remember, yeah, it's you can't perceive every little energy ley line and energy center at first all at once. You literally have to go feed every single yeah. energy center first. And you start from the bottom up. And then it's like you just pull it all into each other. And then by the end, you're you're mostly focusing on the flow from the heart center and like pulsing into all of them. And, and yeah. yeah, so and then, you, of course, expand into higher chakras. And then but you I always return back to center and uh, and I'll just okay. like blow it out and throw it outside of all of them. And yeah, you're you're right, dude. It's like it. This is what I try to stress to people um, when I tell them about this is that it sounds intimidating and there's all these little uh, lines and, and chakras and all that, like uh, you just got to do it. You got to go through the motion yeah. and then you'll actually begin to feel what it feels like to do it. And then it will be like muscle memory. You'll just do it. Yes. Um, exactly. And it'll be easy. And then you'll be like, I know, I now know what, it, what it feels like and how to command my chakra to spin or, yeah. or to expand out. And then you'll just flex it like a muscle. So exactly. it's exactly. like, you got to use exactly uh, like that. You got to trace them is what it's like a stencil uh, at first with the practices. But yeah, man. So that diagram, is it black? Yeah. The black it's one? The... Yeah, let me pull it up. So that one helped a lot. It's uh, I'm, I'm going to pin it on our conversation so you can. Yeah, oh, it's man. black. Okay, yeah, so that was just to show, like, the flow more than anything. Um, but definitely, if you want to turn all of it on properly, I do like what we talked about in the session where we go from the root up and basically just turn it all on one by one. And I only oh, spent, no, like, no, like, two minutes. So, like, after I, – I, I did that, and then I, I went, like, like oh, you said, okay. chakra by oh, chakra and, like, pulling it apart. But like just getting that first uh, diagram that you sent me, like it took a while because even like the, the first nights, like you said, um, my ma my mind would drift away or I'll get sleepy uh -huh. and or I'll lose concentration. Like and the first time I was like getting to the chakras, I was like in the first chakra, the second chakra, and then I would lose concentration and like shit. I have to, like, I felt like I had to like start over again. Yeah. But now... It just flows like I, I was again on my plane coming back to the US. I was just like doing it constantly and I'm taking a nap because it's it's like a long fight <laughs> or whatever. Yeah. But but I I can't stress enough like how much I feel like I needed this. That's because cool. because and again the the most important aspect of it is like how it just like woke so, something up inside of me. Like I, again, I feel like truly 100% more motiv motivated than before. And I, I'm also like, um, it just feels easy now. It's not that complicated, is it? Yeah, really? yeah. Um, it starts to get more complicated when you start experiencing crazy shit, though. Let me tell you that. Yeah, but, and, uh... and you, were sleeping, you were telling me about that. And, and my dreams have also like slowly gotten like more vivid and... Also, like, my recollection of my dreams. Yeah, because remember the electrical capacitance, which is the rate and frequency and oscillation of your energy field and how much life force energy, plasma prana, you're pulling into your torus and conducting. This literally translates to memory retention, right, in okay. states of okay. death. So, like, sleep, for example. It basically makes you... Uh, able to transfer consciousness between your different dimensional bodies. So you got a you got a physical body, you got an astral body, you got yeah. an etheric body, you got a fucking solar 5D body. All these bodies are turning on, bro. Right now, you're turning them on when you when you start to consciously go in and direct the flow. It's it's opening a flower, basically, a blueprint okay. that's dormant, <laughs> that's written into you on a spiritual level, 
scientific level, a biological level, um, you're basically tracing out the dormant lines of it by directing the flow through it. And right now your astral body is going to start to uh, unfurl and get, get more uh, activated. And then that will enable you to retain consciousness, dude. So eventually you'll have the first step is always vivid dreams. That's a fucking good sign, man. That means that yeah. you're conducting a lot of energy enough to make the dreams more realistic soon enough man then it will be a lucid dream then okay. it won't even feel like a dream you'll be like why is this so fucking real like i can see hair on my arm i'm you'll like start <laughs> testing the physics of this place like it's a simulation or something and then you notice the more energy you're, you're working with the more real these places become like as detailed as here like at first it was like foggy and dreamy and shit, like a dream, right? And it was very amorphous yeah. and it changes randomly. But then it became like structured, detailed, fucking like 3D. And then that's when I started like testing it like an astronaut, dude, like on another planet. And uh, <laughs> that's when awesome. you start getting in trouble possibly too because entities, they don't want you fucking around. And then believe it or not, in these other multidimensional uh, realms, there, other people have like their uh, how you say their uh, their territory. Agenda. Yeah, that okay. too. And they don't want you like you, they don't, you don't want they don't want you walking into their fucking area, their house, dude. One time I astral projected into this giant warehouse into a bathroom. <laughs> and into into a what? A, a, a bathroom, a bathroom okay. with urinals, man. And there was a guy there taking a piss in a urinal. I know that sounds fucking weird, right? It's the astral or whatever. Like, for all I know, it was another dimension on another fucking timeline. I don't know exactly if it was the astral realm. But uh -huh. I, I floated into this room and, and went next to him and acted like I was just like a normal, like, hey, what's up, man? Kind of thing. And he fucking turned and just freaked out on me and started chasing me. And I, oh, and I was just like... I started flying, like hover flying on the ground, like away from him. And <laughs> that's, that's just an example. It feels like it's not like some magical playland where you, you're just free to do whatever yes. you want. Sometimes it's like there's beings there that exist there. And they're like, hey, who the fuck are you? What are you doing here? Um, but it and, also and, depends. And, and speaking about that, um, <laughs> something you said in our last session that I like stuck with me was that... um. Speaking about those those entities, but I also applied it to like things in the real world. Is that that I we have to remember that we are infinitely infinitely more powerful than those dark forces, you know, because yep. we're we're guided by light. So like that that's also like giving me like a sense of calm in my life. And now that you mentioned the the whole dream thing, um, uh, besides becoming more vivid, now that you mentioned, my dreams have also become like real you know before i used to have like crazy dreams every once in a while but it was like oh i i dreamt that uh, i ate a sandwich with an elephant or something like that <laughs> yeah. some stupid shit like that but now it's like oh i actually had a dream and i had a conversation i mean i wasn't lucid because i didn't feel like i was conducting the conversation but i remember i had a conversation with this specific person in this real place and i mean i had i haven't connected most of my dreams to my life or, or i don't know if i should but but it's it's becoming real you know i it's, i feel like yeah. it's merging yeah and i and i want to say this real quick without going too crazy into it but uh so what i call this realm that you that people dream in they call or i call the astral realm it's multi-tiered in different levels and the physics are that of the tesseract so it's like fourth dimensional mm -hmm. So, but you know how like 3D is a cube, you have space and then it's like point A to point B, right? And yeah. you're in between moving in the past and the future and then the now, that little trinity. But it, like right now I'm in a cube. The room is a fucking cube. Um, but so the Tesseract is a cube within a cube. And mm -hmm. what I found that the way that translates is that you could be in the astral realm in like a in like a help like a simulation that's held together by the collective thought forms of people but then all okay. of a sudden you can enfold in on your own like personal simulation it's really oh, crazy yeah. and then it's also dictated by like octaves 
So like there's a lower astral realm, uh, there's a middle, and then there's a higher. The, the lower is, is hellish as fuck, dude. I've been there so many fucking times. It's like literally darker, like dimmer. And the atmospheres can be very creepy. Like it's always like, like sometimes it'd be like old timey, like castles and shit, like medieval. Sometimes it's like swampy and shit. Some It's just, oh, it's so crazy. But then the middle, how can I say this without going too crazy? The middle is basically, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. the middle is basically a mirror of here. So it's like okay. humans are going around with their consciousness, perceiving everything in 3D and then attaching uh, energy to it with their uh, their passions and their feelings and emotions and thoughts. And so it literally holds together this like higher vibrating mirror of, of 3D together with the collective thought form. The collective psychotronic energy and emotion and, and thoughts are holding it okay. together. That's what's holding it together. And I guess you could say that with 3D too, though, if you think about it. And uh, whenever whenever you go into these places, do you, do you like choose where to go or does your body just so, like, take you there? Yeah, I just fucking, I go wherever. And that and that's what got me into a lot of trouble uh, because I wasn't exactly high vibrating all the time. So that's another yeah. thing is you'll literally blast into the frequency you're vibrating at. And okay. it's also dependent on which which body you're entering into. So like, I've only, I can only say I've been into the, the fourth, all the astral realms from the bottom to the top and everything in between. And then uh, what's called the Devacon or the fifth dimension. Um, okay. and it's like a whole nother spectrum, bro. I think this has a lot to do with dimensional octaves and light spectrum. Definitely. So, okay. because that's yeah, what dictates that's 3d for the most part it's cymatics vibration basically matter being held together by sound at certain frequencies and then the white light comes out of the sun and that's what is decoded in our through our eyes to our brain as form and it's like this holographic form well the kundalini energy when you start pumping it up your spine it's an ultraviolet phonon wave so it's a whole nother light spectrum it's a whole nother frequency of light and this shit goes up and hits your pineal gland which is an eye like a retina just like how the white light hits your and creates this reality so you have like this internal light too dude and it's like a portal uh it's it's just so insane but yeah so now where i'm at is trying to actually set coordinates but i learned eventually that you want to be completely you want to be completely aware uh of how you're vibrating emotionally so okay. that's fucking number one. And that's why the light body stuff, especially the prayer in the beginning where you like automatically set it, everything to gratitude. Yeah. And then you ask your uh, guides, your, 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 the angelic forces to kind of direct you and to send you light. It's like, you'll, you don't want to go do these practices when you're fucking pissed off. You know what I'm saying? Or like something bothered you really bad, yeah, like bad two day. days ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, and you'll, cause it's like, the emotions and thoughts you feel is you condensing the electrical charge that's working through your torus and giving it a frequency. So if you experience something that pisses you off and you fuck, it basically turns into a block and you shove it into your energy field if you don't work through it and like release it. Um, okay. And then and then when you go to leave your body, you'll literally project through that fucking blockage. And it, and it will like create a, a dim in your 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 frequency, okay. your auric your auric field, and so it'll leave you susceptible to, uh, to attacks. Lower vibes. Yeah. yeah, lower vibes. Period. So I actually had to learn the hard way after being attacked nonstop by demo. I just leave my body and I'd be in the lower astral. The the room would be dark and it'd be dreary, and I'd be like, "Here we fucking go again." Like, why do I deserve this? You know what I'm saying? And then. And then all of a sudden a demonic entity blah, come out of the wall or some shit. And I'm just like, dude, I don't deserve this shit. And then I was like, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. I'm the one with the power. So what yeah. I would do is every time I find myself in these states, neutralize immediately thoughts and feelings. Yeah. And then think of gratitude and how grateful I am to be uh, part of the infinite creator and, and all this uh all these beautiful uh creations yeah. and and i'm grateful for for overcoming the suffering in the past and and then i just pull that those thought forms of gratitude and then turn it into emotional uh vibration or frequency and then it expands into my work field 
<laughs> and then I'll literally start going. <laughs> and the dude, it feels like you're being pulled through a fucking vacuum, man. Like the light, the everything just starts sucking like this. And then you'll literally transfer to your emotional state, to the octave that you vi you're vibrating at. So that's how I pull myself out of the lower astral. Okay. So you can see where a lot of beings, they're subconscious, right? And then when they die, they go into their astral body. They don't know what the fuck's going on. They, yeah. they live their life very low frequency, a lot of trauma, right? And they don't yeah. even know they're dead half the time, dude. Um, so to them, it's just they're like just a like subconscious around. dream. Yeah. And then they don't, they're not aware of their internal power that they can literally lift it up their frequency manually on their own and, and make their light body more coherent, pull in more energy and literally return to heaven, man. Like okay. it's as simple as that. A lot of them don't even know they can fly, dude. I noticed that like, I will literally fly around like a bee above a lot of these entities and they'll just be like reaching towards me and shit. And I'm just like, why don't they fly? Like, I don't, get I don't get it, but a lot of it has to do with memory. Right. So they're just unconscious or subconscious. It's crazy. So anyway, Dude, that was that's a awesome. Rant. That's awesome. That was a rant. A little bit. But, no, uh, but I love it. I love I love hearing all of that. It's like cool. Again, I, I can tie it into my own experiences and it just like keeps me motivated to keep keep doing this. I think it's important, and, dude, because I'm not gonna lie, I felt a lot of like I a lot of it, dude, was like <laughs> uh traumatic at, for me at first. Yeah, uh, like some of the shit can be fucking creepy, man. Like and really heavy. You know what I'm saying? And like when you ex come back from experiencing these things on a regular basis into this life, and it's like, okay, now I got to set my alarm and yeah. go to work and go go to, pay my bills. You got drive. Yeah, you and you'll just find yourself going silent, becoming nonverbal, as they say in the meme culture, and you'll just be like have the thousand yard soldier stare, thinking about this crazy shit, and everyone's like, "Are you okay?" Like that's what happened to me. <laughs> and so then I just had to start, it's a daily maintenance, work on it, bring myself the gratitude up again with my frequency. Um, but yeah, I just, I don't want yeah. no one to experience that because you can see where someone that kind of got a weaker constitution mentally, yeah. you drive them fucking crazy, man. And then totally, uh, totally. if you keep messing around with your light body and turning this shit on, you're going to experience some crazy shit. So no, I no, I, I, dude, and I'm all, all, all in for it because, because again, I, I'm loving the, the, the changes in my daily life, and but I also feel like, like very high vibrational. I mean, I, I already felt high vibrational before, but I even I feel it even more now. So that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Man. Hey, so, do, do you recommend to just like keep doing like the same thing, like because I mean I'm I'm doing it at night, or like if I'm Again, in in a car and like no one's talking, I'll do it. I'll do it in a bus and a plane, or if dude, if I'm eating lunch by myself, whatever, I'll, I'll just like start doing it. You're doing more than anyone I've talked to so far about it, so that's <laughs> awesome. Like no one's doing it in the middle of the day. I mean, this guy yesterday was doing it during the session, which is pretty cool. But uh, awesome, yeah. So what I can do is I just want to I want to hear how you've been doing it. Like when you're really fucking doing it. I'm not talking about okay. driving in the car or whatever. I'm talking about when you go to lay down and like do the full thing. Can All right. You tell so, me? yeah. So, so when, whenever like at, at night is when I do it like most, uh, like consciously yeah. and with most yeah. intention, obviously. And dude, I'll be like lying down. And first thing is I'll imagine like the, the light coming in to the top of my head from like the center sun. And then also from the bottom of my feet. And then I'll, I'll imagine that I'll imagine that like merging in my heart, and then for my heart, I imagine like this like merge light or whatever you want to call it, like coming up off the top of my head, and then putting down uh, from the bottom of my body, like coming back up to my heart, and then nice. also like through my arms back again into my heart, and then once I have that, I have that in my heart, I feel like I'm connected and flowing. That's when I start sending uh, the the light into my chakras. So I'll, I'll I'll go into my lower chakra and I'll like open it up and I'll do three pulses, you know, from my heart, like boom, 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 and then I'll go into nice. the next chakra, next chakra, next chakra, and I'll I'll do all of those 
I might go like three times through it, like doing it. And then once I feel like, um, like I, I've got like a flow going on, like I'll just imagine like the path that the energy is like taking. So I'll imagine like, I mean, I feel like I'm connected now. So I'll imagine like coming in, merging, imploding, going back to my heart, to my chakras, and then just like, I imagine the DNA thing you told me, you know, I imagine my, my chakras and circles. So I imagine the, the energy going like that. Nice. I was going to say, you're doing it wrong when you first started talking. And then it hit me. I was like, wait, I do that shit too. <laughs> where, you, where you go up to the big ones first and then kind of bring them into you and then start going, working on them one by one. But uh, you don't have to do it, man. You know what feels right, I want to say. Yeah. But I do know uh, it does really help to do the prayer first like it just fucking it it sets oh, oh, the, yeah, yeah, like, the like tone the high intensity. okay it like sets the whole atmosphere brings your auric field into a, a coherent vibration and then uh and then i usually just go root okay. to crown with the pinpoint dot visualization with the mind feel into it with okay. the heart center and then will see feel will it expand out and throw the chakra out and expand it and and if you do it right you should feel the waves ripple like this through your whole body yeah. vertically so like you'll feel your chakra ride through like a wave your whole body and throw out it's really crazy so um, so before the first thing you do is like i again the pair and yes. then you go into like the first chakra mm -hmm. but not always okay. see i did what i've done what you said multiple times which is okay. good too i mean that but I just like this. The logic is I'm starting from the ground up or whatever with, I guess yeah. you could say just the energy that's in my field already, but okay. you're, you're onto something when you're, it, cause you're initially connecting that fucking huge uh, yeah. connection between the stellar gateway and the, the earth star, and then kind of using that to direct in that, that makes sense to me too. Just as long as, I'll, I'll, I'll try both. I'll try both. Yeah, more, cool. I, that, it don't I'll hurt. Switch it up. The more you do it, the oh. more the more you feed them. It's crazy. I mean, and, and now, like I told you, like, um, at first, like, just imagining that first part that I was telling you about, like, it took me a while, but now I can, like, do that, like, super quick. Hell so, like, yeah. Try, trying out new techniques, like you're telling me that, um, Dude, going yeah. to my tackers first. Are you like, using your hands? Yes, yes. I'm, like, because, I'm lying down. Yeah. And I'm, like, pull, pulling the chakras apart. Obviously, so, when I was like on the plane, do it outward. In, it, what was that? Do you do it like okay? Do you do it inward like this out, or do you go or you throw it out like that you, with your hands down or up? I, I throw it like to the sides. Okay, just because the vortices on your hand chakras are are remember if they're facing down, and that's what's going to okay. really grab the energy field. Of the to okay. of the the chakra itself and its outer walls of its torus, so it's like, cause you know how when you touch a plasma ball it goes right to your fucking finger, it's like the same thing. You can literally grab them and contort them, uh, expand them out. So it would it would help to go downward on them with the okay. hands like that, okay. and throw out. I'll um, do that. But yeah, the hands are super simple to target and expand them real quick. I mean, I can do I do it really quick sometimes. I feel the ripple. <laughs> Go, you know, go on through my whole body when I do it. I I, f I felt it, and but w the thing I felt the most is when I'm sending the energy. Like I can actually like feel it, like from my heart to the chakras. You know, like Hell going yeah. through. It's that standing wave starts to send the connect a feedback loop. That heartbeat of God that you're sharing with the whole cosmic web is just starts pulsing into it. Yes, isn't that yes, crazy totally. to think, man, that your heartbeat not might not even really be yours. I mean, it, it is to a certain extent, but you're really sharing it. You're really yeah. sharing it with the cosmic web because it's like you have God's consciousness first and foremost, and then it's writing an electrical charge through water and plasma into these DNA structures through these currents of energy and toroidal spheres. So it's like really the God's just pumping, man, like a heartbeat through the whole yeah. cosmic web, and you're tapping in like an antenna, pulling it in. It's really crazy to think. And, and so the and whole point here is to expand your energy field so you can bring more of it. That's the whole fucking point. 
And now, now that you that you said this this comment about like my my heart now being mine, I feel like <laughs> again I'm even more motivated now to like do my life mission and everything. But it feels yeah. easier be because it feels like I'm not doing it anymore. You know, like this this comment you said about my heart not being. I feel like the higher forces are just doing it through me. And, but but I'm doing the activation. I'm just like opening the door. Like yeah, hey, I'm they need consent. My, Yes, I'm. Uh, I'm activating my light body, and and you. I'll 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 let all the light that you send me come in through me, and then I'll I'll spread it. Whether it's like that's again, what they the, want, man. You're yeah. like a paratrooper, special forces that shot into yeah. this hard, dense matrix reality to to basically become a transmitter, like a beacon to reconnect the signal. And then the whole point is to raise Earth up with these beacons. Um, but yeah, so the more energy you pull into, you'll find the more like a movie your life becomes, bro. Like it's not even really you. Like it's already yes. coded out. And it's because exactly. if you think about it, God's veins, this gold, this God's golden veins, as it's called, that's pumping this charge through this plasma filaments, especially through the galaxies or the logos, all the way spiraling out, reverberating out, star to star to star to planet to planet to planet, solar system to solar system. Uh basically it's it has a code in it like a coding through archetypes what's called the logos characters and 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 astrological influences that that uh imprint data into our personality and our consciousness okay. yeah. so it's like the more energy the more data you start pulling in all of a sudden you'll find holy shit like is this a fucking movie and that's because it's already like a script written out you're just tapping into it finally um so like that's why it. that's why it. free will is a fucking illusion dude because free will is basically a disconnection from god's golden veins and it, and the data yeah. so it's like you run around and like you think every you become more selfish probably so you go into materialism and you, and you try to fill that void that you feel with external things but nothing's working right yeah. and so totally. We run around suffering until we finally fu implode through the suffering in the heart center. It's the whole Christ totally, symbolism totally. With, the, with the heart, with the thorns around it. I like to think with on fire. It, it's it's like it's just so crazy, man. So so basically, yeah. it, God's putting out this Christ archetype is like a gateway. That's why I think okay. through through toroidal implosion and uh, pushing a Kundalini charge up your chakra system into your corpus colossus okay it creates okay. this gateway to god that. dude I, yeah, and i feel it i feel it and hey i had uh, two questions also uh i've also noticed that like I, I, but i don't know if this is because of the traveling but just as i told you that i had more energy during my trips i feel like i'm sleeping less i mean i i wake i, I wake up pretty early but before it was like like Fuck, a discipline yeah. kind of thing like oh i have to like fucking wake up but now i'm just up i feel like charged up yo yeah you require less sleep when i was pumping the kundalini charge regularly and very well i was fine off four hours four to five yes um and another I, and thing I was like, go ahead i was so i was in my trip and again i was with my with my brother and my friend and dude we uh, we didn't go to bed that late but i i would go to bed to like at 12 and then i'll just like wake up at four boom and i'll just be like nice <laughs> i'll start doing it again because they were they were just like still sleeping yeah but i wasn't tired throughout the day that's it was, awesome it's, man it's crazy it's crazy hey yeah. and, uh, the the other the other question i wanted to ask you because because you talk a lot of, about plasma and this is like something i've always like had but i've always had this thing for like lightning like i've always loved lightning what is there like something to that or what what are your thoughts on that yeah man so the lightning is essentially the charge of energy coming from the sun from the plasma from the sun to remember birkeland currents so it's like electrical charge working through plasma rides through these these currents essentially okay and it, in the form of solar flares or cmes and then as it comes into earth's torus or magnetosphere from the from the north and the south pole the charge and that's why you see the northern lights right the big old green okay. beautiful lights 
Um, and then this charge basically absorbs into the ionosphere, which is like Earth's aura. It's like Earth's fucking electric light body or some shit. Comes into the ionosphere and then compresses through the weather. It, it okay. char excites particles, grounds into the Earth, into the core of it even, and then reverberates out much like it does to you in your own torus through your core okay. and your light body okay. and then your blood and your organs. And then it stirs volcanic tectonic uh, activity. And then it creates in the weather above uh, spirals like uh, weather okay. systems like Fibonacci spirals, like hurricanes, tornadoes, and then uh, charge that works through water. And so there's ground to, there's air to air lightning, there's air to ground lightning, the most common, and then there's earth to, to uh, sky or cloud lightning. So a lot okay. of people don't know that shit. So it's uh, another a crazy thing that happened recently was the Statue of Liberty emitted a giant fork upward. It wasn't down, bro. It was up. Oh, really? And I'm look that up. it was in a hundred mile radius of the earthquake that struck New York and New Jersey, oh, which, shit. which is a telltale symptom that it was charge from plasma from the sun coming up through the earth okay, and so there okay. you have like a positive charge and a negative charge and they meet in the middle with the arcing of plasma or lightning okay, okay. and so uh yeah so we, we're breathing this shit in bro it's it's okay this is like why dude there's so much charge out there with rivers and mountains and, and weather like you once you start really doing your techniques you might get creative and like go sit in water and do it dude i okay. went to yucatan peninsula and sat on a cliff during a giant oh, thunder, and awesome. thunder and lightning storm. And I was like, I started getting worried, bro, that I was about to get struck. Because <laughs> oh, remember, it's it, it's attracted to what it's attracted to electromagnetically. Yeah, yeah. So if you're putting out this fucking vibe, you're going to pull in more. It's like exponential. So, um, yeah, that was, but yeah, that I want to tell you, I want to tell you another thing, man. Uh, the first time I ever went to the fifth dimension, or the mental plane, or the devicon, whatever you want to call it, the causal. Um, I one of the things I was doing was I was there with two spiritual entities that were pink and purple in color, okay. and our auras were huge and they were colorful, and they were overlapped into each other. And this is how we were communicating was through electrical okay. signals. So, like, I in, we instantaneously knew each other's thoughts and feelings. It was really it's telepathic, basically. But one of the things I did was turn my hand like this and was practicing shooting lightning bolts out of my fingertips. And I, I remember looking up at them and they're just like, kind of like, oh, yes, cute. He's like a child. Kind of like shit. That was the kind of vibes I was getting. Like they were like higher, He's way learning. higher than me, dude. <laughs> they were way higher than me. And they're just like teachers or some shit. Like it, they felt like parents, man. It was crazy. And uh, then multiple times after that, out of body, I started practicing with it. And yes, you can shoot fucking lightning out of your hands, dude. And your out of body experiences is crazy. Okay, okay. One time I was flying through space, messing with it and shooting it out of my hands. And we are it, essentially. We, yeah. we like that movie uh, Powder. Remember that shit? Where which, he, the, the that? boy Powder? has powder it's like this kid that's connected to lightning and he has the powers of lightning and it makes him superhuman and everyone tries to make fun of him and bully him and it's super tragic and it'll make you cry and shit at the end right, but... I, I haven't seen it but i'll, I'll I, i'm looking it up Dude, right. that movie resonated on a spiritual level i didn't understand and then after my kundalini awakening dude it like gave me chills watching it again and, and i teared up and shit it was crazy that's um, awesome but, hey, 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 speaking about the, all these like at the astral plane and the dimensions, like once I do start like tapping into it um, consciously, what do you recommend? Like um, I do then, or is it just like to explore, or is it, or is there like work to do? Or well, dude, I uh, first and foremost, I want to say this is why it's important to do the prayer and ask for shielding. And guidance, um, okay. because dude, they will literally, dude. Let me just tell you, multiple times, 
I would shoot out of my body into a void and not know where to go and then ask for guidance and help. And something will latch onto my bottom two chakras in my astral body. And it will kind of hurt, dude. It's like a, like someone squeezing your nuts a little bit. It's a weird, uncomfortable oh. pressure. And then they will literally throw me like a fucking slingshot and I'll just fly through this dark. And then this light will hit come and get bigger, 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 bigger. And I break through and it's like a simulation. And they're just like, here, go check this place out. Like, I don't okay. know. I don't know who these beings are, but essentially I think what you want to do is get out of the subconscious states. Cause that's where you're going to find trouble. That's where you're going to be yeah. floating around in, in your karma unconsciously. What you want to yeah. do is reach the simulations, which are in the middle astral. And there it's like a VR game. You can have fun and you can learn and you can do whatever you want. And a lot, it depends on your personality. I find myself in okay. a lot of like uh, RPG type combat simulators, believe it or not. So, <laughs> you know, so a lot of girls, they like, they're like, oh, I fly around with my pet dragon. And you know what I mean? It just depends <laughs> yeah. uh, what kind of person you are. But dude, the, I, I fully believe we're supposed to use this, this place as like a holographic simulator to help uh grow here too you yeah. know what i'm saying like yeah. what would you do if you had a holographic simulator when you use it to like better yourself spiritually yeah. mentally i so that's what uh that's, that's what, what i is. try to do that's what it is yeah and right, it's, so, it's and taught so me you, everything too it's taught me about so all you, my powers so you recommend that before i start like that's why i should always like do the prayer and like the intention like hey Give me guidance yeah. and uh, me you, I want you to uh, read about the astral realms. I have a book that's good. Um, uh, All right. And, fuck, I can't think of it right now. The name of it. <laughs> yeah, uh, it astral dynamics is what it's called. Okay. Um, right um, so it's good to understand the, the different atmospheres there and the wildlife and everything. Yeah. Um, and then uh, also it'd be good to listen to like audio like audiobook like suggestive okay. stuff because i'm telling you bro like so many times i lay there and i do my techniques while listening to these audiobooks and they literally Thank i'll be you. listening and learning and then even when i go out of my body it will keep playing it's like suggestive and i've actually blasted off into the fifth dimension before listening to an audiobook about the fifth dimension i'm dead serious okay. so it's like awesome. yeah you just need to start uh getting trustworthy sources that they explain these places that way when you go there you have somewhat of an idea but more than anything just know that you can always go your all your power is right here with your thoughts and your emotions and your heart center yeah. and i would practice flying first and foremost and then okay. i would practice i would practice pulling in thinking of any high vibrating emotion and then try to magnify that in your astral body like this while flying upward that that'll put you in a heavenly place man i'm dead serious awesome. you'll, you'll literally awesome. raise up in octaves of consciousness it's really crazy dude um, i'm loving it i'm loving it yeah and then you'll you find your you'll if you ask for help you'll get it like uh everyone is associated with archangels too and there are people out there that don't fall into all that because they don't like christianity or whatever but yeah. michael and metatron have been a guiding light of total wisdom and security for me in these states. I can't explain how many times Michael has saved my ass and <laughs> actually just did recently too. I asked for his shield and sword because I was, when I do my set, my techniques, I start getting DMT dumps and I'll see faces and angelic beings, demonic beings, weird stuff, bro. It's like you start lighting up and everything around and multidimensionally gets interested and wants to come poke at you. That's yeah. what it's like. And so there was like, there would be these demonic faces that go, ah, like try to scare me to direct Dude. it down. And they're trying to get me to push it into the fear root chakra so they can steal it real quick. So I asked Michael for the sword and shield. And every time one would come, this pink sword would go and just take it right out, dude just evaporated and then every time one would come no just gone and i was just like this is badass it was like a swipe. Dude, that's, that, like that's a awesome i feel i feel like you have it like really mapped out with all these experiences <gasps> <gasps> yeah 
can't believe this hasn't broken. <laughs> hey, wait, is, is your camera turned on? I thought your camera was, like, not working. Which camera? Because I, I haven't seen you, like, the whole session. Are you, like, showing me something? What? Are you fucking Dude, serious? You said you had, like, connectivity problems. I was like, oh, he's... He's just J.A. Oh, right now. my God, dude. How are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's been on the whole time for me. You're good. No, but, but dude, you describe it so... But right now that you said Holy this hasn't shit. broken... No, nah, you're good. You're good. That's cool, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You finally were like... You really thought I was getting... No, I'm not going to do this session and add not even... No, but, but I, th I thought you had like problems with your, with your phone, so I was like... But no, I was I was having a problem with apps and shit earlier. Okay, okay, but, okay. Uh, look at this. Dude, why but, do I have, why am I all about guys with weapons defeating evil? What is this? Look at this. I shit. love it. I love it, dude. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> the sword is love, actually. That's what it means. Not. No, but, but again, I I've, I've been uh dude, I've been very diligent and now that I'm not traveling right now, I feel like I can like tap more into it. Like go go a little deeper. Good. Yeah, I mean, the traveling is good, too, though, man, definitely. I, I ask for project when I go to stay in hotels and shit, and it and it's usually ends up pretty interesting. I'll just, like, like, when I was in Mexico, I just floated up to the ceiling and kept hitting myself against it. Like, I couldn't go through, and I was like, what the fuck? And I just, like, my whole plan was, like, I'm going to go to Chichen Itza and fucking search around for underground stuff. And I, and I just couldn't even get out of my hotel. I was, like, hitting my face on the fucking ceiling. That was that's hey, which which part of Mexico did you go to? Um, I went to uh, Tulum and oh, uh, Chichen Itza. I went and swam in a cenote, an ancient one. Oh, that's and so purified awesome. my dude. This was like right after my Kundalini awakening, like a month after. It was so dude. synchronistic, and it was. I also quit heroin and meth, and this place like purified me, bro. I was barefoot nonstop. I walked the that's whole awesome. pyramid compound for six fucking hours barefoot. Even though a lot of people died there, it still felt healing yeah. to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, how did teaching that it's a feel with it you that you're so good. tapped in? It felt good, man. It was uh, – I just – when you start pumping this energy in your Taurus, like you said before, you get empathetic, right? So you just – everything yeah. just becomes so much more substantial and, and meaningful. And yeah. like, yeah, so you just start sensing like energy that's there in it because everything puts off a frequency and there's like energy ley lines through the earth. And that's one of the hot spots. I mean, anywhere where you find a pyramid, you better yeah. be, you're pretty damn certain to find a lot of energy. And they knew what they were doing. I think it was uh, their ancient uh, resonators, basically, because t tetrahedrons, basically the base of a pyramid collects charge from the earth and then directs it perfectly upward into a scalar wave like this. So I think okay. oh, back they in the were, day, they bro, what they, were doing. they, were they doing. put them on every single major hotspot of the earth. Then the, it directs flow up into the ionosphere and charges it up like Tesla was talking okay. about. And then you tap into that shit like a Wi-Fi signal. It's like a power source. So that's, that's awesome. why a lot of times you find water or even mercury like in Mexico underneath the pyramids they have these aquifers underneath and it's like directing yeah. directing the, the energy harnessing it it's fucking crazy dude I'll, I'll, have, I'll have to go i'm mexican and i haven't gone to chichen itza so I'll, I'll have to go yeah man it's it's full of mayans they'll be there i went and got an uh, amazing uh jewelry obsidian with gold flakes in it and then uh -huh. and then i had a third generational mayan shaman fucking bless all my shit I got an obsidian sun viewer, dude, a black one with the, with the, uh, what do they call their uh, hieroglyphs all around it. Yeah. And then you, you can just stare at the sun with it all day, right through the obsidian. That's a, you still got that? Yeah. It's, a, it's in my that's, room. That's awesome. It's super valuable. But yeah, he was like, uh, 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 all over my jewelry and shit, like saging me and shit. And I was just like, like a stupid Westerner. I'm like filming it with my camera. <laughs> <laughs> so Love yeah it. look i'm gonna post this on instagram so everyone thinks i'm cool and, and super spiritual no, no dude, po dude post it, it but I, you're, you're posting it. i did post it it's ancient on my plasma oh, warrant oh. videos ancient 2017 right, I'll, have, I'll have to look that one up then 
Yeah, it's uh, it's worth going there. I stayed at a five star resort, bro. Free food, free drinks. Um, I, it was only like Everything. 15, $1,500 bucks for oh, like really? a week. I don't know about now, but back then it That's was that good. much. That's good. I know I didn't get kidnapped or nothing. Uh, oh, if you're, if you're in, what's that? What was it? Oh, Dude, tell me, I, was, tell me. I got a Reiki session by this Mayan woman. I just signed up for it. Like this place is five star resort. Everyone's like, oh, like all fancy and shit. But yeah. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do the Reiki because they had amazing water pools and shit, like the best, like all kinds of weird pools and stuff. But I was like, you know what? I want the Reiki. I want to go try this out. And she put a towel over my head so I couldn't see. And I just started using all my techniques, bro. As soon as she started working on me, I was like pushing it at her. And she she was like, <sighs> like gasping and shit. I was just like, what the fuck? And I started trying to peek out to see her. <laughs> and then I started <sighs> sending her more. And afterwards, she started crying, bro. And she no hugged way. me. She got a translator and she's like, I felt you. I felt you pushing at me. And I was like, I oh know God. I felt you pulling and pushing at me. And, and I was so basically wherever she went to work on, I was just like pushing it to dude, her. Dude, that's powerful. And she started oh. crying and we hugged you. And it just filled me with joy. And then two days later, we were walking to the resort. I saw her again and ran up and hugged each other. Oh, like, dude, that's so powerful. Oh, it like blew it like. It was huge for her, dude, because she's used to like Europeans yeah. and other people. They're just like, "What the fuck? Yeah, like, what is this?" Give me, give me a little Reiki session, and just like, "Oh, it's so cool!" Yeah, it was. Uh, it's real, definitely. So, hey, what's what's your take on, uh, like, for example, now that I'm uh, activating my light body and everything, all those like type of sessions, should I be more careful who I do it with and when I do it, or do it? <laughs> what do you mean Same. like sexual no 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 like like uh like the bef I, a lot of people who are in into spirituality they'll just sign up for like any energy oh. therapy or any reiki session with anyone you know what i don't give them that much power over me as far as like damaging me so i would okay. do it I would just, All right. I would just do it and then just, just to learn and experience okay. things. And, uh, I mean, and then also, you know, if they're bad intentioned, I'm yeah. sure when you talk to them. So yeah. yeah, I wouldn't fuck around with someone like that, but yeah. Yeah. yeah listen so, to your intuition. Okay. That yeah. Mayan one was incredible. So, but I am, I've been very turned off about doing any of this stuff with locals or like yoga people, like. I don't yeah. know why. It's just I'm very stubborn too, though. I wanted to figure it all out myself, and it's like personal to it's me. It's good because you're but, you're mapping it all out for all of us, and you're doing a lot of good work. But sometimes I wonder if I'm holding myself back um, in my spiritual growth and my intellectual growth by not making more connect. I mean, these are a lot of connections I'm making, believe it or not. Actually, so I just not in person too much. I don't like that kind of shit. Yeah, yeah. But I don't. Um, I don't feel like you're holding yourself back at all. Cool man, you're doing you're doing, you're doing great work. Thank hey, so you. I'm, I'm I'm gonna keep. Is there like any other thing I should add to my technique, or like yes, anything that you you deem important? I would start to connect your finger chakras to your toes, your toe chakras. Okay, that's a whole nother uh, electrical connection that can be made that will bring your entire torus flow into alignment. So. Right. um I was going to find that picture before, but essentially the way you do that is super simple. Remember the technique where we activated finger chakras by yeah. just putting your awareness on them and then pulsing into them and then with intentions, turning them on or, or spinning or pulsing yeah. them. Well, you go, you start with your fingers and then you do your toes the same way. Then you do them all at the same time, toes and fingers, like okay. put your awareness on all of them at the same time, pulse into them. And it creates like an extra set of currents of chi okay. that will start bringing everything into alignment. And that's also why the mudras are a thing with the fingers, because okay. yeah. every every ley line is a pathway or a vein through this light body, right? So when certain configurements will bring your whole torus into certain configurements, if that makes okay. sense. 
Okay. And so will so will sounds and words and thoughts and feelings. Like the Taurus right. is always in fluctuation, bro, and changing color. It's crazy, bro. It's like rarely right. ever just chilling and doing nothing. So right now, mine's probably sky blue and super huge because I've been talking nonstop. It's like the throat chakra. Nah, you. you all right. So like the, the things that I'm taking away right now is like adding the prayer before my light body activations, learning more about the astral and like maybe like listening to audiobooks, um, switching up the order like you told me. And then this thing with my fingers and my toes. Awesome. Okay. Another thing is just like that stupid thing they used to teach us when we were kids in the gym class where you go like this with your arms. Okay. Your Taurus is flowing out like this. Dude, sometimes I'll just go grab the walls and conduct the flow like this and, and then feel into it from the heart center. And then the whole thing will just start. I feel it come okay. into alignment and start fluidically spinning and shit. Um, so that's, a, that's another easy technique to throw in there, especially if you're on the move. Um, another one is gyrating your body like a snake. Because remember, the scalar waves are like uh, uh, snakes. That's why they were yeah. symbolically depicted as snakes. So like if you if you move your hips, it's don't you don't you won't feel like a woman, trust me. Just it's I'm gonna I'm gonna do it on the, on the next plane I'm on. I'm <laughs> yeah. on the Dude, I've found myself in insane trances before, sitting in the lotus position, just going like this. So basically I, what I'm trying to do is make the bottom of my spine do a figure eight, like this. Okay. And it's okay. stirring the kundalini charge and then I'm shimmying it by pushing into it like moving and, up. and pushing it upward like that. But what okay. I want, that's more for like when you actually feel the lump of pressure moving through you and you're trying to push it down on it and move it okay. around. It's good to shimmy. But sometimes when I'm on my left side, I can also move energy easier. It's weird. And so it's, it helps to sit up too, because we're talking about electromagnetics. So like if you're aligned with gravitational forces, and the Earth's magnetosphere, the energy is going to be is going to move better sometimes. So, okay. Okay. Uh, here, I'll add that. So awesome, another dude. thing that helps is not eating. Uh, like, I'd say give yourself at least three hours, uh, because the food will literally take in this energy you're trying to spread out and for digestion yeah. into your solar yeah. plexus, and so then it becomes like a roadblock there. When you're trying, but it, but you can still, if you eat, you can still try to like work yeah. through it, push it. it besides besides uh, not eating three hours before, do you sometimes do like fasts or stuff like that? Or I did, but I'm over that now. Now I'm gaining weight again. <laughs> but um, <laughs> no, yeah, you, I did notice you're getting, you're getting fucking swole, man. Yeah, I'm, well, I was more shredded before, but now I've gained ten pounds. But it, that's fine. I don't want to be. I tried being all Mr. Yoga body lean. I don't like it, bro. It feels yeah. weird. But I could tell that was what my Kundalini energy wanted, dude. It wanted that state I was in. And I just started fasting and focusing on the energy work. My appetite went down. And I was just mostly swallowing raw eggs and eating like just nutri nutritious like shit. shit. Yeah. And so basically I could tell if I was to be fully... Uh, spiritually developed as far as my physical body, that's where it wanted to be, man. Was, okay. was that was lean like that. And I my ego didn't like it. I was like, I look fucking skinny, bro. I, I no, want to no, get no. jacked, bro. <laughs> <So> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I started eating again. Um let me what's another one? Um should we talk about you spinning your Merkaba? Have you been trying you, that? You, you you told me a little bit about that, but you we didn't go into depth. Yeah, man. Uh, well, it's something I normally do at the very end of making everything coherent. And uh, as far as activating chakras, it's like the very end when you feel the whole thing flowing really fluidically and healthily. Um, then I'll go in, bro. I'm just going to say it. I'll go into my heart center and spin outward. And okay. it's fuck i was gonna post this uh on on youtube the whole thing if you agreed to it but this is like top secret shit right here <laughs> um no keep you can you can keep that secret don't worry what you know i'll tell you i'll tell you right. in uh i'll tell you in a voice note 
after this. All right. Okay. I love that. I love uh, that. Because you definitely have, a, you've unlocked that achievement for sure to be able to learn that. Definitely. Awesome. Um, awesome. But yeah, it's insane. Once you start doing that in your physical body, you'll literally feel the opposing electrical currents wrapping around your physical body spinning. And okay. a lot of people, they visualize tetrahedrons to do this, but it turns out we have an automatic way to spin the, the, the outer walls of the torus into a implosion. And then there's also a cheat code I discovered to perceive it spinning faster than you, or to spin it faster than you can perceive, if that makes okay. sense. Okay. So okay, it's okay. like, I know I have a technique where I can automatically spin tetrahedrons the correct way without visualizing tetrahedrons. And then also get it spinning so fucking fast that I can't even perceive how fast it's spinning. Like, okay. And it's scary, bro. If you do it in the physical body, you'll start experiencing the craziest shit. Like you'll literally feel them spinning around you and it will like hit awesome. your nerves because nerves are electrical signals, right? Running through your physical body. So you'll feel this energy flying around you all crazy. And you're like, dude, am I going to fucking explode or something like am i gonna catch on fire and uh sometimes i thought i was gonna lift off my bed i was like damn and then i started doing it after i'd leave my body astral project and it was like that's when technology started appearing in it bro like it became a spaceship like a merkaba okay uh, a cockpit dude with holographic organic technology started starts to form and it yeah, wants so. coordinates. And I'm. this is where I'm at now. I was trying to figure out well, where the fuck do I go, you know? So it's just insane. Like, we that shit's real. And we have it built into us to be able to travel around interdimensionally. That, okay. Dude, that's awesome. I'll wait for that voice note then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, hey, another and thing. And again, I, I can't, like, thank you enough, man. Like, okay. I, I really, like, felt like a huge change and like really quickly in my life in that's cool. many aspects. That's why I'm doing this, man. It's a process Dude. of reciprocity of healing of, and I heal myself through healing other people and helping other people. And I think that's what we're meant to do in our purest yeah. form because we're electromagnetic, which is pushing, pulling, breathing in, yeah. breathing out heartbeat of god and we're just supposed to take it in pass it take it in pass it yeah <laughs> and that's the again. problem everyone's holding on to it and then it gets turned into a blockage so thanks uh, man i'm, I'm not i'm not you. gonna i'm not gonna cry like the reiki lady but again i'm like really <laughs> thankful man really appreciate it i appreciate and I, I'll, you i'll keep you updated to like any like changes and, and like send you like um messages that way you can like share it cool, with man. people or like I can already tell you're going to you're going to climb up the freaking Jacob's ladder pretty quick cuz you actually want it and your your heart's into it your mind's into it your will's into it um and that's what this energy operates on is the frequency of all those three it'll yeah. it'll the more you you vibe with it the more it's drawn to you it's crazy it's exponential so awesome awesome hey so i i was thinking about um going like deeper into this and then, like, whenever I'm, like, I don't know, whenever I, like, fill up with questions where I'm stuck, like, hit you up for another session, maybe it's going to be, like, in a week or a month, but, but like, it's been life-changing. I love it. I love to hear it, man. Yeah, and I'd, I'd love to do another one with you whenever. Just keep yeah. in touch with me. And then awesome. I, was even, I was even thinking of uh, creating a format of some kind of a coaching thing that's not, right. as, not as maybe cost, cost as much. And yeah. that maybe even there's a little, little bit less time. I mean, you you, like should, a, you know what you should do? You could like uh, make like a handbook and like sell with like some like very simple techniques and like sell it for like ten dollars or like, or whatever for for people. And then the people that get hooked on it are gonna be like, oh, I need a session with this guy. You're right. What am I doing? Instead, I'm going to the gym and no, that's all, eating that's also good, delicious man. food. <laughs> It's awesome. <laughs> yeah, you're right, man. I got, dude. I just got to get on it. I got to get on my mission. And uh, hey, and the, I, I also I, a question popped up for me when I was in uh, in Canada because I know you're you're a musician. Musician. Do you still like make music or? 
No, man, I stopped. I mean, I still sing all the time by myself, but um, it's it's complicated psychologically tied into a bunch of stuff from the old me. So yeah. I'll just say real quick, all the, the music was very intertwined with drugs and alcohol yeah. and the whole lifestyle of clubs and bars and shows yeah, yeah. is just like, I didn't know if I was ready. And, and it almost felt like going backwards, believe it or not, to to get back involved tap into that and it's been sad because dude i've lost so many friends it was like yeah. i went into hermetic phase and fell down the rabbit hole became spiritual slowly and then all of a sudden we didn't vibe anymore any of my old friends yeah. and then they were sort of reaching out like come on come on but it felt like going backwards for me yeah so i and then i felt like a dick like so it's been hard but what happened i feel like i need to uh i need to work on myself and then flower into my new me and then yeah. go back out into the world because i because i was like dude if this if if jason's like so like tapped into this and he he was all obviously a musician and has that gift i feel like you could make like some really cool music with all like this new stuff yeah man there, i know a rapper that does it um dude send it to me it. send it to me cool i man. love that he has awesome. music videos and everything on vivo <laughs> oh really yeah um all right I'll look yeah it man up. I'll look it up. i'm uh i still listen to heavy music though but i mean i could definitely there believe it or not like black metal there's a genres like atmospheric and cosmic black metal that talk about this kind of shit it's pretty crazy so okay it's like, it's like you're putting positive uh topics in with heavier sounds which i okay. find is cool because that's what i've always been drawn to bro is like good, yeah. dark and light like in between yeah. um i like them both middle point yeah awesome yeah just keep in touch with me bro i i love i love this session i don't even know how long it was but (laughs) yeah you're good hey and and thanks so much and sorry about the camera i I thought you were having problems with that so but uh 111 boom all good brother um i can all right i'll post this video on youtube and then you can have access to it where you can actually see me awesome (laughs) Hey, all right. take care and thank you so much, Jason. Take I'll, care, I'll brother. Take care. All right, bro. Bye-bye. Bye.